Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So seeing as it will be the last day of November, by the time I upload this, um, I decided to do a November haul for you guys, um, only because I received a book this morning as well, which will probably be the last book I receive for this month, um, and I just wanted to collect all of them together, just so I have um, a lot to show you guys, but there will probably be um, more in the December haul, I think because there are a couple more that haven't been delivered to me yet. Let's get started. So everything is in here. And the amount of books in this. <laughs> I can't breathe. Ooh. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this in any particular order, but I'm just going to dig in and pull out whatever there is. First up is um, Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. This is the second novel in the clock... No. Infernal Devices series, that's alright. Um, and I've already read the first one, but I don't have it here. It's still being delivered to me, um, and I really need to reread it so I can finish this one. I also have Clockwork Princess, which is the third book in the Infernal Devices series. Um, I bought this separate from this one because I picked this one up for $2 only, so I decided to go and find book one and three, and I could only find book three, but there it is. I'm actually really excited to read that um, series because I heard that it's better than the Mortal Instruments series, so fingers crossed. Another fantasy novel, and this is Angel Fall by Suzanne E. And I read about this on Amazon. Really um, liked the idea of a more of a gory type of fantasy. Um, and after I saw Christina's, what is her name? Christina? Christina. Um, it's Review, Pollen and Books, I think. Um, I decided to go ahead with it. Again, with the fantasy novel, I have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. And if you don't know, there's actually a Australian book selling site called Book World. And this month they um, set up book bookshelves at bus stops. And you can just come and pick, up, pick a book up and take it home for free. Um, so I travelled to the other side of the city um, to pick up a book. And I this was the one that I got. They actually had quite a new... New novels out, um, they had Allegiant by Veronica Roth, which was the third book in Diver Divergent series. And they had um, The House of Hades, which is Rick Ryden's series as well. Um, but I ended up getting this one because it sounds a lot more interesting um, about a dream worker, Walker, a dream walker who works for the criminal underworld. And they actually have a video promoting it, which I probably will link at the bottom below. It was really fun to watch. Not sponsored, by the way, I wish. Moving on, I have The Legacy by Catherine Webb, and this is more of a mystery um, adult-like novel. I haven't heard much about it, but um, I am willing to try it out because it sounds like something I would pick up to read. Something that is definitely um, being hyped up is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and this is a book tree recommendation. I um, heard that it's... There's, um, I he I've heard that the girl in this book has an obsession with this series and the series is based on Harry Potter and anything to do with Harry Potter I will try to get my hands on and now I have it. And then I picked up Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan and this is third in my top five favourite books. Um, it's probably one of the best John Green novels ever. I love it. I don't like the cover because there's a strip missing there and I don't know why I wasn't planning on buying it like that um, and I probably will end up getting a different edition because I like the other cover better. Also another ripped um, front cover is Cinder which is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. There is another strip gone here and I don't know why um, but this is a sci-fi fantasy novel um, something that I've heard a lot about on the booktube community as well so Okay, I'm giving it a shot. And then comes Wonder by RJ Palacio. Um, also another one of the booktube recommendations. Um, it's more of a... I think it's a young uh, young adult about a boy who's deformed. Um, which does sound pretty interesting. I also like the front cover. It looks pretty cool. Again, with the booktube recommendation, you will see a lot of them in there. I scoured YouTube and went 
and wrote down everything that I thought was interesting and I ended up buying them. Um, this is Crash and Burn by Michael Hassan and this is probably a novel that I will end up discussing with my friends because it has a lot about to do with shootings in the US, just really worldwide knowledge and I absolutely enjoy talking to my friends about that. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. This is the first novel in the Mara Dyer trilogy and it's a psychological thriller that apparently can really screw with your mind. Um, I've been obsessed with psychological thrillers, especially with movies, so I've... yeah. And then I have Philippa Gregory's The Bolin Inheritance. And if you don't know, Philippa Gregory is one of my all-time favourite historical authors. Um, she doesn't really write accurate history, but it's enough to paint a really, really good image of the Tudor times. A time that I probably would love to live in. Um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to be buying something this small and really easy to be damaged. There is a hole here and a rip at the back. Another Rainbow Rowell novel, and this is Eleanor and Park, um, which sounds like a really good romance young adult novel, something that I haven't really read in a while, um, and something for me to live my romance through, I guess. Um, you know, you got to experience through something. And then I had something that I thought I would never read and I don't actually know why I bought it. This is Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wayne and it's a wartime novel set during World War II. Um, but so far I've only read... It's all good, no harm done. <laughs> so far I've read maybe two or three chapters and it's a lot more to do with loyalty, friendship, um, sacrifice. So I think I might enjoy this a lot more than what I initially thought. Another novel that I don't normally read, um, this is a sci-fi called 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan. I'm ruining all my books. Um, Johan, sorry, Hastad, Hastad. Um, and this is also another booktube recommendation and I figured I might venture into sci-fi a little bit just because I've never really read things to do with that. I also picked up Deathless by Catherine Volanti for $2 as well. It was a bargain and I really enjoyed it. It's a modern day fairy tale. I have filmed a review about it and you can click the link here if you want to watch it or there will be a link in the description bar below. But um, it was pretty good. Another one of my favourite authors, and this is Kate Morton's The Secret Keeper. I have waited so long for this. It's her latest novel. Um, I haven't started it yet, but I, I just want to delve into this world that she paints. It's so great. And then I have Tim Winton's Airy, and this is he is also one of my favourite authors. Um, an Australian author as well, and you've probably seen this one and The Secret Keeper if you've watched my November TBR along with Deathless. Um, the synopsis of the synopsis of this sounds a lot more interesting than Cloud Street, which was one of his previous novels, and I did enjoy his Cloud Street, so I hope I like this one a lot. I also picked up another modern day fairy tale story by Audrey Niffenegger. She is the author of The Time Traveler's Wife, and this is Raven Girl, and it is actually a picture book. Like that. How cute. Um, some of the pictures get a little creepy. I didn't realise it was an 80 page story. I thought it was actually a full length novel, but um, I really enjoyed this as well. I have written a, re a review about it and the link will be in the description bar below. Um, and it's being made into a dance performance. Lastly, I have the Percy Jackson series, uh, the Percy Jackson and the Olympians, book one to five. Um, and I absolutely love Greek mythology, so I jumped on board this also because I really enjoyed the movies and apparently this is 10 times better. Um, so of course, this is by Rick Ryden and I have started the first book. Um, it's got a more of a different writing style to it, probably because it's more for younger readers. I know a lot of readers have read this during their childhood and I'm pretty late but I'm really enjoying it so far. First up is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters, Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse, Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth, and Percy Jackson and the Last Olympians. I'm hoping I really really enjoy this series. I actually have so much high expectations for this because I know a lot of people have enjoyed it. Um, that is all for my November haul. I don't know if that is a lot or not, but I did go crazy just a bit. Um, and I shall see you guys soon, probably next week. This is all for November. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye now.